Hey fellow fish enthusiasts, I uh, just wanted to give an update, albeit shaky, on the um, self-cloning crayfish that I got from Susan for SLC Aquatics uh, a few weeks ago. Uh, to date, there were five of those. One was a mother, the largest, and then four others. And uh, I lost her after a couple of weeks. I think it's because she never ate and she traveled and traveled and traveled, but she passed and I didn't realize it for a couple of days and she, uh, her remains uh, fouled my, one of my uh, rainbow tanks, the expensive rainbows, but I caught it in time because their behavior changed and I didn't lose any of them. Uh, but like I said, I lost her and then a couple of days ago, I've lost one of the females I had two and a 30 breeder, uh, a great uh, footprint, same footprint as the uh, 40 breeder. And I thought it was just trying to uh, shed and uh, it wasn't, it died. So I'd lost two of them. And I have uh, one in here, uh, so I still have three. So I have one in here and last night late when I fed, uh, she usually comes out from under, uh, and you may be able to see her there. I can't really get down. This is a lower level tank, and you can see it's grungy uh, algae and so forth. But she didn't come out from under the um, wood. She stays under back there uh, to eat, and she hasn't today. Um, but what I did see last night was a baby, one baby from her, and now today when I'm feeding, I'm seeing several babies, uh, maybe 10 of them, and they're different sizes. Uh, scared that one. See, there's one at the bottom there that's about half the size of that other one. And I think there's three of them now in the frame. So if I'm seeing three in one frame, there are probably a dozen. I don't know. Uh, but they definitely uh, are scared of each other saw the little one run so there may be a couple of dominant ones that are predating on the others i've got a couple of caves in here uh, which of course is bad news if you're in there when someone comes in to eat you but uh and i've also got a sponge that acts as a cave i had shrimp in here at one time uh, but no more um, the fish definitely are not uh, any threat. These are just um, sword tails, and I don't have hardly any adults in here. These are mostly just grow outs. So uh, hopefully uh, these guys will grow out, and uh, I'm going to make sure that I give some smaller pellets or, or medium size, small for the most of the fish I keep that can get down to these guys and they can eat them uh, and pick up my water changes on this tank. So yeah, there comes another one out. Another small one. So that's uh, four that we saw for sure. And I still don't see the mom. Wait, is that the mom there? It could be. Yeah, no, that's, what is that? That's a baby. That looks like a shed from the mom. It doesn't look like the mom though. Over here, there are two. Oh, there's the mom right there. There she is. Yeah, I thought those were two babies, but it's her claws. So there's the mom. She's fine. She's probably uh, eating her babies, and that's why I'm not seeing her coming out to dinner. <laughs> uh, so I'll make sure she gets something uh, like some jumbo creole pieces or something to give. Yeah, there's mom, so she's fine. She's getting big, Susan. I know you'll probably see this when you see the title. But yeah, she's getting big. She's as big as the original mom. She's really grown out. Looks like she might be buried, too. And there's a baby right in front of her on top of that wood, a really small 